Christian Tresser. Does that name ring a bell? If it doesn't, it should. Not only is he the designer of the Nike Spiridon model, he's also the designer of the very recognizable and famed Nike Air Max 97. Now, I understand Tinker Hatfield is amazing, and some believe that, hey, didn't he design like all of the Air Maxes? Well, no. Yes, he absolutely designed the Air Max 1, my favorite Air Max model of all time, but I believe we need to give roses where they're due, and that comes to Christian Dresser for the Air Max 97. That's exactly what we'll dive into today, because I chose to gift myself for Air Max 2021, a model that didn't release this year, it released last year, but still deserves a lot of praise, uh, a lot of recognition, and we'll go into the history of the 97 because there are some big misconceptions about it. Now, there are some things related to the Air Max 97 that really made it a first of its kind, the first ever full length air unit within the midsole of a sneaker. We can give that to the Air Max 97 and Christian's design. Now, he was up against a lot, so he also added the first ever really hidden lacing system. If you ever pay attention to the lacing system of the 97, um, it's really different from its predecessors of the 96 and the 95, but I know people think, well, isn't the 97 inspired by bullet trains? Yes and no. I'll say yes, because in theory, you know, uh, the bullet trains or thinking of silver bullet, which is one of the common nicknames for one of the OG colorways. It sounds a little bit better than like silver bike, but in truth, the 97 is actually inspired by mountain bikes. Yeah, mountain biking was something that Christian Tresser loved to do. It was a daily activity of his, and he actually learned from Tinker, draw from your daily life inspirations. I mean, those are things you know better than anything else. And so that's what he incorporated into the design of the 97. So I know bullets, bullet trains, it sounds good, right? Silver bullet. But if you look at a, a mountain bike and the accessories, they deal with metals, right? Titanium, silver, gold, which is why you see those in the OG colorways and not to mention uh, the upper of the 97. Now that is truthfully inspired by the ripple effect of water or a raindrop. And so if you've ever thought that, hey, it actually looks like it ripples down as it goes to the midsole and then to the outer sole. Well, you're absolutely right. That's what it's meant to do. And those are just some very common things that you may have known or may not have known when it comes to the 97, but it actually wasn't as loved at first as people thought it might've been. Now, the Air Max 97 in itself really had tough shoes to follow behind, and I don't mean that as an unintended pun. No, I'm being serious. Now, I'm not talking about its immediate predecessor of the Air Max 96. That actually didn't do as well as Nike hoped it would have done. And the 95, well, that's actually what I'm talking about. The 97 really was a follow-up in terms of fame and attention to the 95, and we know the 95 holds its own in sneaker history. It's a grail for some um, so the 97, it was up against a lot and it actually wasn't a hit in the US, not at first. Now, if we go across the seas to Italy, that's where it really popped off with a lot of, uh, I guess, appreciation, you could say. Now, it was really different for high fashion Italian culture, but they still took to the model a little bit faster than the US did. And I guess it's hard to really ignore a sneaker that may be all silver, all gold. I mean, think about it. Those were the colorways you were seeing at first um, when the sneaker released back in 97. And it, the truth of the matter is the shoe actually didn't get a chance to stand alone on its own on shelves. I mean, the 97 was out for less than a year and then Nike released the 98. So again, when I say it's really uh, right between some heavy hitters of a 95 and a 98, that's really what I mean. Because I mean, like people just kind of... Yeah, they dismissed the 96. Now, there were some that actually took well to the 97, and being a former track athlete, if you know anything about track and the Olympics, Michael Johnson, like, we like to call him, I guess, the uh, the golden man himself. He loved the 97, if you recall. He actually wore golden spikes. That was kind of his signature. So it made sense that the 97 was something right in his wheelhouse. Now, another interesting fact about the 97, it was actually priced higher than any of its predecessors. And that stands true to today. I mean, when it originally came out, it was $150. And if you look at grade school pairs now, they're priced at $155. So look at where we've come. Now, I 
get it that inflation and prices will always go up but the original price for an, uh, an adult size was 150 and now that's the base price for a grade school pair and if we're talking anything that's a little bit you know special edition or elevated in terms of premium materials that might go up closer to the adult price which is usually around 170 for the air max 97 so it certainly changed over time but if we look at where it is today it's still the focus for a lot of different designers that collaborate with uh, Nike themselves and as you guys know I've done a video previously uh, not this month but uh, on the last day of uh, March and yeah the Sean Witherspoon 197 that's still something high up on my list I mean how could it not be if you're taking the Air Max 1 and the Air Max 97 my two favorite models and you're merging them together it's just it's a match made in heaven I'll have that shoe someday I don't know when I will have that shoe someday but I'm really happy to see that Sean used the 97 and the material and the color that you know the colors that he picked I think help cement that particular collaboration within sneaker history itself now on my Instagram at talks.with.tj, I actually ran a poll to see if you all could guess what sneaker I picked up for myself for Air Max month 2021. And some of you guessed the correct style, but not necessarily the colorway. And then someone out of nowhere actually picked the correct colorway. And yes, it's actually a GS exclusive. It's the Air Max 97 mineral spruce. So if you think about that colorway, just olive, I guess is the best way to put it and who is surprised on this channel that I picked a predominantly all olive sneaker. You shouldn't be. I love swapping olive in for traditional khaki, white, denim, black, gray pants because I think it adds uh, a new element to any outfit. It's actually something that's still really neutral. So if you think about swapping out, you know, a pair of all black shoes or white shoes or gray or ivory or sail, you can do that put these in instead in their place as an olive shoe and it still adds a lot to the actual outfit in itself. Now women there was actually uh, a 95 that released one year before this because this 97 actually came out in 2020 so in 2019 women actually got um, it was an Air Max 95 mineral spruce that I'm sure you could search around like I did because I picked these up on eBay for less than a hundred dollars which I'm really just excited about that i think i ended up paying i think i offered like 85 and these shoes are brand new never worn now they didn't come with the box they actually came shrink wrapped or pretty much wrapped in plastic which i've never i won't say shrink wrapped they were racked wrapped up and i've never actually had a shoe uh i guess deliver that way but I don't need the box because I wear my shoes. So perfectly okay with that. Let's dive into the actual styling of the sneaker itself. I surround my soul with the positivity. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see. Yeah. These days I don't worry about much. I think we should have some more fun. I still dream about the days when we were young. I'll take a hit and still finish and I won. I have to be honest, I'm still blown away someone guessed the exact colorway for this Air Max 97 because the picture I posted, it was actually in black and white. So there was no indication of the color, but shout out to them again. So yes, the Air Max 97, it was a GS exclusive colorway for the mineral spruce. To me, this is the perfect low profile sneaker for spring heading into summer. If you don't already have a pair in your collection, I would advise you look into it. Now, another colorway I'm very interested in picking up is the all yellow pair. It's not a brand new release. Again, it's probably something I'll go back for on eBay. eBay is an amazing place to find pairs you may have missed out on, especially Air Maxes for a really good deal. But again, we're heading into spring. Well, we're in spring, so we're heading into summer. So why not keep it bright, keep it fun, more of an athletic look here with the laser orange shorts that I showed you guys. Uh, it was a pickup from Dick's Sporting Goods paired with the Mineral Spruce 97s and then my Nike Sports Wear jacket i just did a little bit of layering here but i did that mainly for a picture of a side by side i posted to compare my fit to a tech campaign with ruby rose that nike debuted a little while ago but this here is the nike sportswear tech fleece cape in a maroon colorway i love it some people say it kind of makes you look like a superhero which i mean yes it does you feel pretty badass in this i won't lie but this is a really athletic fit you can find me running to the gym probably leaving the gym 
just a basic tank that I picked up from American Eagle. Outfits don't have to be complex or all over the place. Stay true to yourself and being athletic is extremely true to me. Now for the second outfit here, yeah, back to my fear of God ways, back to what you guys know me for. I guess now I am somewhat known as the fear of God essentials fanatic, and that's perfectly fine. I will own that, still being a Jerry girl, even if he is with Adidas now, I will own that. So yes, here I have the Air Max 97 mineral spruce paired with the track pants. Now these are actually the cement track pants that I picked up, but it's very similar to the charcoal colorway. If anyone is curious, got the stacked Nike chains heading down the essentials buttercream t-shirt. So this is a play on a lot of different neutrals that some people may not consider them neutrals but if you look at the palette itself sale or buttercream can go with so many different options just swap this out if you have like a true white color away just use this for a little bit more of uh, more of a, a for more dimension i would say in an outfit and then with the cement or charcoal pants um they're more of a tannish gray if you want me to truly describe them so i think they work really well too if you don't want just true khaki or black pants but this is a very common outfit for myself now for sizing because i know someone may ask i'm a small in the essentials t-shirt and then i also picked up a size small in the track pants but i know they taper down quite a bit so some people say hey i need to size up you may have to play around with the sizing for the track pants when it comes to fear of god essentials but for me the small works well so thank you guys again so much so that's my latest Air Max pickup for 2021. Again, I'm someone that I don't need retros just to feel like I have an amazing pickup. Honestly, anything that's brand new to the closet is special to me. And you guys know I have an affinity for anything olive and the Air Max 97, a perfect match. I couldn't have asked for a better pickup for 2021 for Air Max month to celebrate that special day of March 26th. So thank you guys again so much for tuning in to another video. If not already, if you don't already follow me on Instagram at talks.with.tj, be sure to do that. And I always forget to mention, like you guys can ask for my free budgeting ebook. It's in the description box of every video. Just hit my email, request a copy. I'll get that off to you as soon as possible. Thanks for tuning in. As always, act your age, not your shoe size. Peace out.